channel. So if you're new here, do subscribe. I would love to have you. It is fun here, despite all that you're hearing, it is fun here. And if you are a returning subscriber, I am always happy to have you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for comments. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you for the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It's very encouraging. And so, and I am just looking for new ideas to bring to you so that you can enjoy. Don't be shy to tell me what you would love to see. Oh, today. Do let me know if this has shifted. I don't want to flash you guys, but I'm just too lazy right now to put on a camisole, so bear with me. And do tell me when I'm flashing you. I don't want to flash you, seriously. So today I have two dresses that they are the best sellers online right now well not right now but they were and trust me it was just one hell of a fight excuse the word it was a fight to actually find them but fortunately for me they kept restocking them so i stopped the website and i was able to grab them the first one is the mango dress yes i think everybody knows this dress by now i think it's it's everywhere the first time i saw it along with the other piece i'll be sharing with you is on instagram it just flashed across my page and i was like what okay let me see that one again it immediately caught my attention so i looked everywhere for it this is it guys it's such a gorgeous piece absolutely stunning i love the balloon below his sleeves strings anything with strings with frills anything that that are any any clothing item that screams bohemian I am there along with high-waisted pants well I think I think you know me a little bit by now so I would just keep that here is the dress it's absolutely stunning it has details to die for it it has the string that you can tie at the front the front right there you can wear this two different ways and I will show you in a few seconds 
so of course this is the way the dress was designed to be worn with the drawstring in the front but now as I've said before you can definitely switch it around and wear it on the other side which I absolutely love as well because what it does is that it places the keyhole at the back which gives it a really beautiful effect and for those who are slightly bustier you'll feel much more comfortable with it like this well that's what i think in my opinion anyway i love the versatility of this dress i really love wearing it this way and yeah guys and of course at the waist it has drawstrings as well and it pulls in like so so it means that you can adjust the waist accordingly I know it's everywhere it's so not my age to be like telling you but they are what they are those are the words that in along with lit and shook guys I think you get the drift <laughs> speaking of shook I am shook with this piece as well as the other piece that I'll be sharing with you it's absolutely stunning and it's floor length. All the way down and one of the other gorgeous detail that it has, the two slits on the side so that when you walk you show a flash of leg <laughs> Really love this dress. 
absolutely stunning. What else can I say? Oh, yes. And of course, it comes with a slip inside. And this is a medium or a size 8. Yeah. And for some reason, I don't know why, this cannot fit well. I think across my bosom area, it is too snug. So because of that, it rides up. So I may have to forego the slip and find my own slip. So be aware of this situation. If you are a bit busty, this you might have to substitute for your own because it's a little bit too snug up here and then it tends to ride up. So if you are walking outside or wherever you are dressed in this, you would not like that to happen to you. So be warned and opt for a different slip inside. This is the other item, guys. My second purchase. This piece, I'm sure you must have spotted it there. It's a piece from Self Portrait. And Self Portrait is a very great brand and I have seen it everywhere but for some reason it has a lot of lace stuff and because I don't go a lot of places that that requires like a lot of dresses of that style I didn't see the need for me to invest in it but this is my style this is definitely my style guys and again I just couldn't help gravitating towards this piece. It looks very much like that piece, I must admit. And I will give a review of these two pieces to let you know how I feel about them and, and whether or not you should invest in both because you may probably just need one piece. But here it is, guys. Seriously, a round of applause for this dress. It is just absolutely stunning. Self-confident that 
day you can cinch it definitely show off your waistline it's a very flattering area <laughs> It's all the way to the floor, guys. with a very stunning price as well and so that's one of the reasons why I would say that maybe if you have the mango dress you don't necessarily have to invest in it but to each their own it's a gorgeous dress guys it's a good looking dress as I love to say. So, here is what it looks like. <laughs>
guys to tell me, and you didn't. Yeah. I thought you were on my side here. <laughs> anyway, that's today's haul, and I do hope you enjoy the looks. So, my thoughts on these two dresses. They are very much alike, in my opinion, just different shades of, of yellow. One is more mustard, the other is more a canary yellow. So depending on your skin tone, one would be more flattering on you than the other. Frankly, I think that darker skin tones look great with this. And lighter skin tones look better in this but of course these dresses are more complimentary in my opinion on darker skin tones they just look absolutely fabulous even on my lighter skin tone and i am black as black could be but even with my lighter skin tone i find that when I see these dresses on darker skin tones, they are so gorgeous on, so gorgeous. So, what do I think? I think that both dresses, as you have seen, have very similar details. They both have the drawstrings details, either at the waist or on the sleeves or on the neck with the mango one it has it on the neck and the mango one is very versatile you can wear it backwards and you can wear it forward and you are likely to get a lot more wear out of this the mango dress than the self portrait dress because this is more casual. This is more event centered. So you're likely have to gonna be putting this away after a special occasion and wait until the next special occasion, which for many people, those occasions are not that many. So yeah, but with that said, they are both stunning dresses beautifully made and in my opinion i don't think you have to own both of them it depends on your lifestyle it depends on your it depends on how deep your pockets are i think one would just do nicely and i would choose the mango dress because it is more reasonably priced Frankly, I think the self-portrait one is a bit overpriced and it should have been around the probably 200 mark, but it's not. So that definitely is a deterrent to anyone who would love to have it. So I would definitely choose the mango dress over the, the self-portrait dress. But that's just my opinion, as well as my price point. So, I hope you guys found this review useful. If you're looking into investing in these dresses, I am sure that they are likely to restock them, as I've said before. Be aware of these similarities and definitely choose for yourself which one you're going to invest in and of course that depends on your budget so happy shopping and i'll see you in the next video take care guys bye